Is it just me, or does something look really cool about the M18 when its cannon barrel's missing? Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder, it's Krebsy here, and today we are taking out a brand new tank that I unlocked today, and that is the M4A3E2 Jumbo. Look at it. It's massive, isn't it? They call it a Jumbo for a reason. But, uh, what's there to say about this tank? Well, I think we're gonna start with a generalization. In general, not always, not universally, especially this applies mostly to Tier 3 with the Americans. As they get higher in Tier, towards Tier 3, the tanks become... they get more armor, but then their guns either get the same firepower or even less firepower. And that is the case with the Jumbo here, where you're going up in battle rating, your armor improves, but your gun actually gets worse compared to the other uh, Shermans out there, like the M4A2 76mm cannon that we were doing in yesterday's video. So. It kind of sucks, actually, because this really limits you in a lot of ways. I mean, having more armor is always a nice thing to have. But the thing is, as you climb battle ratings, you're going to be coming against tanks that have more uh, powerful cannons. And so that pretty much negates your extra armor that you have. And, well, all you're left with is a weaker cannon. And if there's something to say about the American tanks, especially the Shermans and their variants... It's that they're actually quite inaccurate guns. A lot of times, they have quite long dispersions, or big dispersions, and especially from uh, mid-range to long range. Another thing that they suffer with, most in particular this tank that I'm using right now... Oh my gosh, I just shot my teammate. Wow. <laughs> I think he just caught my bullet mid-flight. Another really... Uh, bad thing it, with this M4A3E2 Jumbo in particular is the fact that it doesn't have the best of shells and by the best of shells it doesn't even come close to having good shells it really doesn't I need to back off like mad because this IS-1 over here is really scaring me uh oh okay good you get APCBC, which is uh, uh, always good to have on a tank, but unfortunately its penetration is very, very bad, even from close range. And so you're pretty much left to using the armor-piercing rounds, which uh, unfortunately over long ranges, the armor penetration depreciates uh, very rapidly. So what you're left with is ca shells that are only able to operate well, in close range th scenarios. So this tank, if anything, is gonna excel in, well, places or maps that have close range combat. Urban maps, street combat, stuff like that. Certain areas and certain maps where it forces uh, close encounters. That's why I decided to go down on this side of the map. Also at the same time, very risky to do as well because uh, there's a lot of tanks that are capable of wrecking me. So honestly, guys, I don't I don't see myself having a particularly great match this time around, but we'll try as hard as we can. I'm gonna try to go where my teammates are, because going to see where there's the T-3485, and also an IS-1 is just absolutely suicidal. We're gonna try killing this AI, because we really need those bomber kills. We really need those bomber kills, indeed. So let's see if we can finish this guy, this AI first. See, an unfortunate thing about arm piercing rounds, it doesn't have, I mean it has fragmentation, but it's not quite to the level of APCBC. So that's one down. I know we're killing AI, this is PVE right now, but uh, bomber, right? Bombers all the way. Oh my gosh. See that dispersion right there? It shows green, and then it goes flying upwards into a place where it, it can't penetrate, you know? That's what I'm talking about. About this armor. Or, uh, dispersion on the guns. Ugh. It's like I'm trying to aim for that last driver there, but it's not going where I needed to go. So, quite frustrating tank to use. Definitely. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think about it? If Are any owners of this tank out there? The Jumbo? What do you guys think about it? 
what are your impressions on this vehicle? So I'm sitting down right at the bottom. Zero kills. It's hard, man. This tank just does not do a uh, great thing, especially when you're coming against KV-2s like that over there. Okay, that's his gunner down, his aimer. So we're going to keep up the pressure on him. But he's going to get a new gunner soon here. So we're going to just fire. Oh my gosh. Ricochet right off the side. I'm not sure who if the KV-2 is going for the... Uh, my teammate. My hope is that he is. Well, somebody went for him. Might have been the KV-2. We're just going to keep on putting the pressure. Unfortunately, he's backing off. And we can't... Kill him. Ah, the angles are awkward. So I'm lacking gun depression as well. What we're gonna do is back off because that KV-2 is really menacing. And although some of his crew members are down, you know, sooner or later he is going to reload. So we're still needing one more point until we get a bomber. It's tough. It is tough playing this tank. It's also quite slow, especially when it comes to reversing. Very, very slow. I'm gonna rotate around. Move on up to the side over here. 35 shells still in my tank. We're climbing, we got zero kills, but the point is this tank does damage and constant damage. I guess one nice feature about it is the fact that it has uh, fast reload speeds. Hello. I'm gonna aim right into the side if we can. That won't be his aimer down, but he's on fire, which is nice. We're just gonna keep on aim going into that side where it's yellow. If we can keep on setting him on fire, we should get a kill. We need one more, right? One more. And then we get the bomber. <sighs> Is there anywhere that's green? This yellow just means it's a chance to penetrate. Doesn't mean it will. I think the M4A2 suffers pretty much the same problems as I do. It doesn't do anything. In terms of damage. Let's aim right there. Okay, that did nothing. Here? It did something, and it's a kill assist. God damn it! <gasps> oh wow, that was close. I was that was lucky that he was already down, guys. So we got a bomber now, but look how many points we racked up from one single kill. One single kill is about 300 uh, points, so we got about 600 from just doing whatever else we do as a tank. So now we're gonna try taking out a bomber. I'm just. Queuing up the command so we can try to jump on that ASAP. We really need to cap the other zones though. So I think when I take out this bomber, I'm going to try uh, clearing out C because that's where my guys are pushing up right now. Come on. The event's going to end soon. So they captured B, but we have nobody near there. So I don't think there's much of a point of going for that. Okay, good. We got the bomber. C is the target. What do the teams look like? We've already got a number of people who died three times. I don't know how you can die when you've got Panzer IVs and SU-85s. Those are capable tanks. And nobody, no fighters. Oh, that's the best thing. Okay, so we're going to try doing, uh, doing a bombing run. Oh shit, there's a heavy tank. You see that cunt crusher? Wow, I'm surprised he's not banned. Or asked to change his name. We're going to try clearing up. Let's see. Drop one bomb for the IS-1. Maybe that will kill him. Maybe it won't. One for the KV-1. Two for the IS-1, just in case. You never know. Oh my gosh! Well, that was a fail. I seriously hope we get a kill out of that. One... One kill? Damn, dude. I mean, don't get me wrong, this tank can do pretty good. But it really just depends on the map that you're on. So there's uh, that KV-2 that's off on the side here. Uh-oh. Why is he... What is this M18 doing? What a silly bugger. We're gonna try killing this KV-2. I think... Okay. He's gonna get another man soon. So it might go... We need to aim on this particularly accurately. There we go. Right in the gunner. T-34. Oh, shit. 
Oh god, this is getting desperate. I see, I think that's AI coming up behind me. I think. I think so. No, it's not! Oh god. Oh Jesus. Why do we have a T-70 on our team? Yeah, this tank is pretty special, I think to say the least. It can take a beating though, on the bright side. And we've pretty much just lost. Let's see if we can kill the gunner. That should be the gunner down. Nope. Not enough explosive component within it. So, I mean, we came first place, but we only got three kills. That's the thing about this tank. Like, it has a fast reload speed. It's gonna be really damn hard to kill anything with it. But the fact that you're hitting tanks means that it's a point uh, accumulator. You get points for just hitting vehicles and doing damage, okay? It can even bounce off and you still get points for it. So, it's, uh, it's definitely an, a point accumulator. And by no means a, a great tank. So I gotta ask you guys, what do you, what are your impressions on it? What do you think? If you don't have it, what do you think of it from this video? Leave your comments in the comment box below, but if you guys want to recommend me anything else in the future, what tank or plane, feel free to leave that as well. Thanks very much for watching guys, and until the next video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Here we go.